All right, so we're gonna make our first sticker here. Today, you can type in logos. You can pick any any logo you want. Something simple though, start with something simple so you can get the uh, hang of clicking around. Um, I'm going to do the YouTube logo. I'm picking the YouTube logo in particular because it has a shape and then we're going to remove something out of the shape, which is really an important thing to learn um, in, our, in our lesson here. So I'm going to screenshot the YouTube logo. So uh, Windows Shift S, go ahead and catch it with a little extra space. And now we're going to be using a program called Inkscape. So go to the search bar and type in I-N-K. You'll see Ink View. Don't click that. Click on Inkscape. You want to open that up here. Let's go ahead and uh, get a fresh one. Your screen might come up with a little um, image. Just click new document. That'll be your most important thing to click. And now you have here a fresh new document to work with. So control V should click on it. Control V will paste our logo in, in there. Perfect. So now before we get started, I want to teach you how to trace this logo out so that it works. First things first, we want to do control shift L, which brings up our layer menu here on the side. Layer one has just this picture. So you're going to hit plus adding another layer, layer two above and add. So first things first is I'm going to lock layer one. And this prevents me from drawing or messing around with this logo until the end where I'm just going to delete it away. So let's go ahead, layer two. And the first thing I want to use is this tool here called Draw Bezier Curve in Straight Line. So click that. And I want, you have a bunch of different options, but I want this curved line here. Now, Control and Wheel will zoom in and out. So zoom in and out. Shift and Wheel goes left and right. And then Normal Wheel goes up and down. So. The first thing I want to do is trace all the way around it. You can pick all different colors. Because it's red, I definitely don't want to pick red. I'm going to pick black. And now I'm going to get started here. Every click will make a node. So let's just start here. I'm going to go clockwise, two. And with the curves, just do a few of them. Here, click. We're just going to lightly trace the object, keeping in mind that it does have a little curve here on the edges. We can always fix that after and close. So you see how it filled this in? Control Shift F brings up our fill and stroke menu. So I'm also going to hit the button S or click the select tool. So now I have it selected, right? So I don't want to fill, so I'm going to hit X. And then I'm going to do stroke, hit a, line, uh, a flat color. So now I can see my line around. I'll add that stroke back in later. Next, I'm going to go on to my node tool, which will be this one, or I can press N. This is really cool because it actually will help me curve my line. So I'm going to click on this line, and drag it out to match. Click on it, drag it to match exact. You might need to drag out the node itself. And then I use my control wheel to move around. You really want to drag this to match it perfectly as good as good as you can here bring this out if you find that you want to delete a node like click on it and then you can just hit delete because sometimes the curves work better without nodes in them so drag those out so they match so like let's just see what happens here if i delete that can i just match it perfect perfect there we go now shift wheel to move over I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit just so I can see. So you're just going to match it all really good. And done. Maybe I'll delete that one because that kind of worked nicely. And, uh, perfect. All right. So now what I'm going to do is come back to fill. I'm going to make it black like this. And then I can do any cleaning up that I need to do. You see that red? And what I also am going to do is change its opacity here. Opacity is how dark it is, right? So I, if it's like this, there's no color. If it's like this, it's fully black. So put it here in the middle. And now I'm going to click on Bezier or hit the letter B to do a new curve on this one here. 
So let's zoom in a bit, click here. Because I learned pretty good on my last one, I'm actually going to just do one dot there. And I'm going to try to curve it pretty good afterwards. Boom. And now I'm going to drop its opacity way down. And I'm going to zoom in. Actually, and I'm going to go S for select tool to select the, the bigger shape, drop its opacity all the way down so I can see really good what I'm doing. Uh, N for node and drag. Click on this and now drag these just to match it as good as you can. This is really important because you want it to look as realistic as possible. And you'll get the hang of it as you go. So shift wheel gets me to move sideways. All right, now I'm going to zoom out, control wheel, back over. Now you can see I, that's not perfect there. Let's drag that in. There you go and drag this in a bit. There you go. Control zoom out. Now let's go ahead and go back to S select. And control shift L gets me my layer menu. I'm going to hit the I and blink off my background. And now it's time for me to start working on my coloring. So S select this shape here and then control shift F to get up my fill and stroke menu. I'm going to bring this color back up. All the, how about this way? And now I need to get this color, uh, the red color here. So I'm going to click on red. Uh, that's not quite the red I'm going for. Let's get a darker red. Oh, yeah, I bet you it will be if I bring it all the way. Perfect. So there I have my red. And if I want to turn off my line, I can just hit X. for the, That's on the stroke to get rid of the line. And now the most important part. Let's suck the triangle out of it out of the background part. So click off of it. Now we're going to click on the triangle, hold down shift, click on the big background piece, go to path difference. And it removes, it's like subtraction. It removes that out. The way you can test it is, let's change the color of this to green. The way you can test it, S for select, is to drag it over, oh, page up, we'll bring it up. It should at least, page down. There we go. And oh, look at that. You can see that's how you can prove that your logo is transparent. So on your classwork, Windows Shift S, get me that screenshot. I want to see that what you've removed is transparent by having that shape underneath it. That's and then didn't just delete that. That's just to prove to me. So now you have your final shape. You want me to cut out on the cutter. So go to File, Export. There it is. Oh. One last step before we do this, let's click on File, Document Properties, and then Resize the Content. Boom. Look at that. Cleans it up real nice. So now I go to File, Export, and it should, let me see here. It should just be the selection here. So I hit Selection, perfect. And now click down here. It will say where we want to go. Click on the folder. Go to this PC materials, stickers, rename it, Bardon YouTube. Okay, so your last name, your, your first name, and then what the name of the sticker is, save it as a PNG, and then click save. Okay, export, and replace. You don't actually have to do that replace part. So that should get you going on your first sticker. Do the YouTube one if you want. Make sure to screenshot it with the proving to me that the middle part is transparent and not just white. Uh, and then you're good to go.